Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. Uh, so, from the last episode that I recorded to this one, I actually found out that there there might have been a reason why uh, my controls were set to like the controller and everything. Apparently in that launch sequence that I've uh, altered before to make sure that I can actually record stuff correctly, turns out there's a section that I can uh, change the help from gamepad to mouse and keyboard. <laughs> so maybe, just maybe, the controls are gonna be a little bit better and I can actually check them out in F2 once I get into the game. Beyond that, I'll just shut up and get right back in to whatever slot I was. Huh, and now slot one is open to be saved on again. Interesting. Okay, I should be right in front of the door after the li the library, I believe. Uh, continue where I left off in the prologue. Yes, please. Is this the right spot? Yes, this is the library. Mysterious room. Uh, I'll go to the game place and then here first, just because, you know... That's at least marked, and this is just secret that I just happened to find. Ah, uh, but first... Nope, that's F2. F3. Here we are! Okay, so I did fix it. Alright. Glad I took notice of that just randomly. Uh, and then F1. I w just because that one save file from the demo is no longer with me, I have the nail brush. Okay, that means it is saved. Gotcha. Alright. Ooh, okay. Game room. Chiaki would have liked this place. <laughs> I finally remembered after however long. Chiaki Nanami is her name. Huh? Looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Well, It certainly is strange. Okay, I, I thought there was going to be a little bit more of an introduction to that. And why... I mean, granted, the plants and everything are growing here, but there's some places where it's high-tech, and then it's some places where the books have collected mildew, I would assume. The books are old, and this game machine is broken. Like, the dichotomy of these two items right next to one another. It's odd. It's odd, to say the least. I'll talk to you in a second, Ryoma. What's up, Shuichi? I can see robots in this room, too. I don't think the game machines will work. Wait, you can see... Wait, what was that? You can see robots in this room? I can see... Oh, roots in this room, too. <laughs> I added a B in there. I mean, can you blame me? It's one letter. <laughs> roots in this room, too. I don't think the game machines work. Alright, what's up, Ryoma? Let's hear how deep that voice is. Sheesh, what a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um, Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. Oh, <laughs> ah, the direct quote from the show, or book, whatever. <laughs> Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, you were a lot nicer in the demo. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here. Compared to prison, anyway. Huh? Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. Hmm. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. He considers himself to be a man, but for the past... Well, the second game's... Okay, so the second game is where it gets weird, because the first game, it was only students that could only attend because they were high school students prior to it, and then in the second story, it was uh, after everything that had occurred in a few years. I don't, I still don't, I'm still not 100% sure of the timing for that, but age did happen for Makoto and the rest of his group for that. But here... I don't know. 
I would assume that everyone's still high school students. Actually, I didn't get a good look at what you were wearing in that, uh, in the pre-prologue section. I think you were still wearing a high school uniform. No longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. The ultimate tennis pro. Ah. Ryoma Hoshi? R really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the hell? Really? <laughs> hmm. So well, you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you used his talent to kill? Um. It kind of helps that I just recently woke up. I, I can't say I just woke up because I take a little bit of the time in between to like set everything up, but it helps a lot with my voice trying to wake up to do Ryoma's voice. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Huh? No. No. It's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. I wonder, is it possible, because of all the speculations that I made, uh, as much as I do know the outcomes of all the murders and everything, I do try and remember, like, the reasons behind stuff, and that is fuzzy on me. Like, self-defense cases, such as the very first one, in giant fucking quotation marks, between Leon and Sayaka. I don't know if that happens in this. Ryoma's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> crescendo into that voice. Okay, what all can I look at here? Alright, same old, same old. There's a monitor in the basement, too. Yes, there is. And... That's it. Oh, wait. Sliding door? Does that go out, or is that a door that extends outward? That is locked. I'm glad I at least checked. Hmm. It looks like it's locked. Yeah. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Hold on, what's the orientation for this room? Because... The room that I haven't checked yet, the orientation might actually be exactly one-to-one. -one. Oh, excuse me. Uh. Oh. There we go. Slapping the shit out of stuff that doesn't really... Oh, uh, not just... Not yet, thank you. Uh, and... Okay, now I can. Yes. Hmm. Oh, okay. I, I was really concerned there for a second. It got eerily quiet. Okay. Alright, think about the orientation of this room. Okay, so I enter in through there. There's a door at the back of the room. And this is gonna be locked, right? Did kind of run into the door? <laughs> Um, oh, there wasn't- a, there wasn't really like a clack 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 sound of the- Well, there's no real door handle. I guess a thud would make sense. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, this door barely opens a crack. Is it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Yeah. And that leads me to- whoa. <sighs> Just, you move so fast. I guarantee I might get motion sick at one point during this playthrough. <laughs> Make, oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh. We couldn't get through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate grate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Hey, Correcchio. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. It, yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Uh... Mm -hmm. 
That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not worry. Uh, in other words... Uh, I'm trying to remember how I did it in the demo. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. Uh. Oh, uh... Yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes. I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguji. Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Anthropologist. <laughs> anthropologist. Mm. There's a certain flow that this voice actor follows. A, a little bit of a... Uh, like a roller coaster. And I know I've described that's how you're supposed to follow lines. But... Karekio seems... Whimsical. So that might be where he comes from. Karekio? Anthropologist? Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, uh, sure. Anthropology is... Studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There, are, there may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations... Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs, such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's cool. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe... That human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. Oh. Um. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. What was your laugh? It was like, it was something like... <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It was really fucking creepy. People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And as it turns out, he is one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? If so. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Sh shattered? What does he mean by that? Nice to meet you, Kyo. That was your nickname, right? Not Kore? <laughs> Kore, here! <laughs> uh, if you have any knowledge of basic Japanese, that joke is... funny. <laughs> I'm self-aware, okay? What's up, Shuichi? Huh? Our hopes will be shattered? What does that mean? Also, the rooms that were over there, I'm going to check out first. I see. Yes. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. <laughs> uh, how do you... I'm trying to think about it, because I could just do one laugh is it with the <laughs> and force all that, and it's just a normal laugh with a <laughs> but I don't know how you... <laughs> like, that's... Like, mine sounds fucking stupid, but... I don't know. Like that, I would need I would need a, a voice director to help me understand how to deliver that. Uh, no, it was upstairs. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Motion sick. Let's head out through that door first. God fucking damn it! I didn't get to check the other place. All right. Entrance door. Uh, then, let's go. Okay. I don't know why I'm uh, redoing lines that are already be have already been said because I've I've cemented that in being that I won't do that in the other games. I don't know why. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared because uh, what if beyond this is just That's wrong. Jeez, this isn't like me. 
Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. Sorry about the hiccups. <laughs> Are you okay? Kayade. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Shuichi. I psyched myself up and with a newfound strength walked boldly toward the doors. Uh, I think I fucked up. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and a cage. A cage? A wall? I guess that's a wall. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? Oh, that's Leon's voice actor. Oh! Okay, I'm glad that Shuichi's... Uh, that voice actor is going to get a little bit more exposure. Because I felt bad that... Like, as much as, like, it has to happen. Someone has to die. Like, I'm glad that these voice actors are getting chances to do other things. What's going on? Whoa. Okay. I thought it was just the school. There's more than just the school. Hey. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. Uh, that's not a healthy way to react to, so, to a surprise. Yo, but it's awesomely huge. I can't. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. <laughs> Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? Uh, since we already know that the end of the world has already happened, can we surmise that the end of the world is still going on and nothing's been fixed by Makoto and the others? God, I love this fucking music. <laughs> what? Huh? What were we talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? Stop laughing and explain yourselves! There's nothing to explain! This is simply how it is! So don't- so please don't bother! You can't get out of here! That wall has no entrances or exits and it cannot be climbed or demolished! Well, actually- An ultimate could probably climb it partway, but most of the time it's impossible. What? <laughs> but they, uh, can sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Oh, boy. Someone help us! <laughs> uh, so, I know my sister's sleeping upstairs. I wonder if that woke her up. Please, help us! Uh, also, I want... Because I know it's a school day. I wonder if people are walking by wondering what the fuck is going on. I don't need 911 called on me. <laughs> Okay, I'm done screaming. Someone! Anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. I thought he was only gonna do one. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Is, is that her panting? Or is that her realizing nothing's happening? Going to happen. Uh, please stop! You'll hurt your throat! <laughs> yeah! Scream all you like! No one can hear you anyway! Huh? No one can hear us? Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait. Say something! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. One of you, just answer! Damn it! Damn it. Hmm. Autodam is ignoring them excellently! Because he refuses to open his heart. You can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. <laughs> Shut up. We're the monocubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. 
I don't like how spit comes out of multiple you. Multiple of you. Oh, what is this? Your things. This school. What is all this? So. You bastards will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that way out of yourselves. For yourselves. Uh, but please watch your step while you explore. The uh, school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. It was true. It, it was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Construction, excuse me. It looks like they're still building some some of the facilities here. Interesting. So that's where the chapters are segmented, I'm thinking? Are they st Oh wait, are they still in the middle of building the school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction will finish soon. Once we set the exosols on autopilot. Huh? Exosols? Yeah! Once part of a biker gang, the exosols now work construction to support their wives and kids. Uh, do robots really need that kind of backstory? <sighs> I don't know why doing her voice always makes me winded. Maybe it's maybe it's uh, from Mono Kid to Monophony that that like puts a little bit of strain on my lungs. I don't know. Their steering wheels are are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. I wish I could do the one that I did yesterday for, uh, uh, Ma uh Manosuke, because that was, uh, it actually sounded okay. Use. Use, guys! It's something like that. I think I got it back. Just, <laughs> use. <laughs> That's all I need is just to remember the one word. Use. And there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, which set, and my face grew warm. Damn it. <laughs> I could feel my determination returning. Hey. Hey, Suichi. Uh, Shuichi. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Ow! <laughs> you know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We name we may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually. Uh, uh, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Oh, hey, Kaito. I kind of thought that you'd be in the gym, honestly. Oh, what the fuck? That's a shipping container. Uh, can I go back in the school? Oh, wait, I see on the mini-map behind me. I know, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a little pink door somewhere over there. Can I go back in for a second? We should check outside. There has to be an exit somewhere. I wonder. Uh, maybe, possibly, if I had gone in that place of the flight upstairs, maybe this area would have been open that way, and then I would visit the, uh, Ryoma and Maki downstairs after going in. Maybe it's like a choice thing, but it basically ends up being the same end result. What? Huh. Can't interact with that. Okay. Uh... Whoa, okay. What? Okay, that log is stopping that from happening. Uh, I'm thinking... Greenhouse or something for the op, uh, uh, Igonta? I can't remember what his status was. Oh, the dining hall! Oh, can I get in here now? It looks like I can enter the school building from here, but it's blocked off. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, still gonna be locked. Uh, and I can see another pink opening over there. I don't know what that one connects to. I'd have to wait and see. Wait, the dormitory is... isn't connected to the main building in this one. Interesting. 
Hi, Kaito. Why are you aren't why aren't you on the path? So what the fuck are these? Are those hiding the exosols or something? Jeez, I can't remember what how'd I do yours. How'd they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey, I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then. <clears throat> hey, uh, something like that. What? Are you complaining? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling. Like, so many of these voices are so similar that I have to try and match it, unfortunately. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Yeah. And besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Um, uh, huh? The universe? Got it. <laughs> Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. I kind of have to do like a more breathy voice for him. And my god, my hair looks fucking awful today. <laughs> 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 well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm still in training. I see. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you don't, you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Uh, then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. <laughs> I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam too. Okay, that line is different. Interesting. And Shuichi hasn't even engaged with you. Uh, that's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can I can wait till co after college. Jesus Christ. I want to get to space as fast as I can. But hey, you sure have a lot of energy. Got it. <laughs> yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Let's do it. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be? So, do you have any ideas? Shut up. Uh, that's not a, the problem. Um, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Kaito's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that voice, but oh well. The dormitory. Oh, uh, God, I keep forgetting your name. This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Very nice to see you. Very nice to see you again. Why, hello, bear. We're intruding. <laughs> Sorry to intrude. Oh, what is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? Cause this is your home, you bastards! <laughs> Who? Who else did I kind of give that voice to? Right now, of an oh, it was uh, it was the uh, 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 Kuro Kurokuma. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we finished setting up the showers. Now you can p go pee. Hey. Why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? Uh, even for number two? Ah. Wait, do you got number two in the shower? Hmm. Ew, that's gross. Right now. So long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just comedic relief. Um, what do you mean, our home? Could it be? Uh, they mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Well, uh, Kaede, I'm sorry to say this, but your thoughts aren't, uh, are very wrong. Oh, I just, I just realized the rooms are divided by, uh, boys and girls. Huh, okay. 
Shuichi Saihara. Uh, um... uh, there are drawings hung up on each door. Maybe in place of nameplates? Why go through the trouble to do this? Oh, what are they planning? Also, in saying that, because of previous mistakes and, uh, uh, possible transphobia and everything, are there any characters that we assume to be one gender, but are actually another gender in total? Or are, uh, asexual? I, uh, I, I, I don't, uh, is that, would that be right? I, I'm trying my hardest, okay? Uh... What was your name? You're the only one that I cannot remember. Uh, was it something with a J and a T? Something? Reverse the order, but I, I fail to see their objective. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Oh. If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective. ...of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here. But why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. I was... Let me know if you require my service. I knew that there was a T and a J. But I didn't know what, uh, what the actual name was. Kirumi. Kirumi. I'll have to try and remember kimono, but you don't wear a kimono, so... Kirumi. Ah, fuck it. I'll remember eventually. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Nice to meet you, Kirumi. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh, wait. I I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. An ultimate with an incredible talent and strength working as a private maid. I heard her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is in pretty impressive on its own. I've also heard that she's being hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. Oh, excuse me. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you're, you've are you been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, what should we do? What would you do, Kurumi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid after all. As a maid, I my only desire is to fill the de uh, desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire from me. For everyone. No matter the, the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Hmm. Kurumi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. I wonder what made her go into the maid business. I didn't mean that as a pun. I just ended up saying it like that. Like, is it like a familial thing? I don't know. I'll check. I'll check my room for a second. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Uh, what about you, Shuichi? Do you want to check out yours? I don't plan- oh, okay. Fine, then. Okay, now- actually, no, there was another path, right? I believe. Hey, Kaito. Uh... Is this where a performance is gonna be held or something? I don't know what that is. Mm, this way is blocked off. Hmm. Just walk straight, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Oh! Hi, Gonta! What the fuck is that? That's a Kitsune mask. Why? Oh yeah, that's right. I technically haven't met you. I don't know why I thought that I have. 
Whoa. This guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, um excuse me. Huh? Mm -mm. huh? I, hmm. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Uh, thank you? Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um... That's, that's right, I had to do it like this. Going to scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. I mean, although Gonta talks in the third person, unfortunately, and although that he's kind of an idiot, he's a little more affluent than the, what I'm making him out to be. But during the class trial, in the demo, I learned just how back and forth it kind of is. Thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, oh right. Going to need to make introduction. Um, um Gonta's name is oh. Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. Mm, I would assume he was raised in the wilderness because, like, bugs and, uh, you know, ape brain and shit. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. <laughs> really? Thank you. Aw, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Oh, Gonta scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's not what I... No, no it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary when he was kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Oh, Big just... Gonta. A kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid Gonta play alone. That how Gonta come to like bugs. Okay. So then how the hell did you become fucking... Or may maybe he is from another country. I don't know. But when Gonta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs, end up lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, took 10 years though. Okay, that's how you... Okay. So you have the uh, IQ of a child. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, shit. I don't know how I'm going to fare with your death. Maybe you survived till the end. Huh? Ten years? What? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um. Oh, not people. Wolves. Huh? Wolves? What? But they're, they're really nice. Because of forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. Gonta. As thanks, Gonta want, wanna show Forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. So then, if you learned how to speak animal, then how are you... Did, did you... Ah, uh, you did go back to high school, right? Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? Okay, Kaede, I... The idiot over here between the two... Actually, no, you're a bit of an airhead. <laughs> I actually get where he's coming from. He wants to show thanks, although they're animals. <laughs> this place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Really? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. You like bugs too? Amazing. Hey! <laughs> What's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Uh, uh n no, I, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait. <laughs> then you hate bugs? Huh? What? But how? <laughs> you hate bugs? That's not true. Oh, <laughs> I love the little like light flare. Um, you don't hate bugs. You you love them, right, Shuichi? <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, of course I do. I. Love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. That good. No bad person likes bugs. Uh. 
Yikes. Don't choose your part card has been updated based on your experience with him. I highly doubt he's going to be a killer just because of his childlike innocence. That was... that was scary. Whew! Yeah! I thought you were gonna die! Honestly, I can't stand bugs either. But it might be best to hide that. Nice to meet you, Gonta. Uh... This way is locked off, and it's weird that I can't click on it to acknowledge that it's locked off. Another statue. But is this Kitsune mask supposed to be here? Um, is this a ninja statue? It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. Not even gonna acknowledge the mask, huh? Or is that actually a part of the statue? Well, I'd assume not, but oh well. Hmm. Uh, science lab, maybe? Uh... A bird cage? I don't know what's gonna be here. Shrine of Judgment. Oh! Uh, what was your name? <laughs> I just remember Atua. Hmm. Oh shit, I was gonna. I should have gone to Shuichi first. Yahoo! Something like that. How are ya? My name is Angie Yonaga. Angie. I'm the ultimate artist. 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 A little bit of an accent. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy, considering the situation we're in right now. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. Cause Atua says so. so says Atua. Huh? Uh, Atua? I... The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, hmm. I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atu is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! How divine! I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course! In return, will you make an offering? I'm very sorry to anyone who actually genuinely likes this character. I am butchering the hell out of her. An uh, offering? Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, <clears throat> a truck become, comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint of blood or two. A two of your blood, sorry. <laughs> don't worry? And is that every Monday and Wednesday you guys do that? You guys would be become anemic. And, uh, maybe a little bit loosey-goosey in the head. I mean, I'm not gonna make fun of her, her religion or anything, but... Maybe that's why she believes it so heavily? Because she's running low on blood at all times. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. What about you, then? M me? Uh, yep. Hmm. Boy's blood is always an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! It won't hurt one bit! Uh, click. Uh. Thank you. Uh, wait a minute! <laughs> Don't run away! This girl is so... weird. Angie's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Thank you. Uh, I didn't get... Huh? Damn it. Okay, I didn't get to explore everything I wanted to. Was that the bell? Oh. Kaede! Look, the monitor! Hmm. Thanks for playing with us! Oh, they got little dolls of us. You bastards! Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Uh, everyone, make your way to the gym, please! Okay, that was one of the locations that I didn't check, so I just randomly happened to... 
not do that? Okay, weird. The opening ceremony can finally begin! Phew! Phew. We finally finished our preparations! Hey. You don't realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? I don't like the fact that I skipped out on shit. Jim? Opening ceremony? Hey. Hey, Kaede. What should we do? Um. What should we do? Go, go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. You're right. It's true, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Yeah. Can I inspect everything that's here? Oh, there's really only one thing. Will it say that this is where we just saw it? This monitor is way too high-tech to be used in a school. Okay. What about slapping shit? Really? Huh. Hmm. All right, Shuichi, what you got to say? This place is in much better shape than the school. Is someone taking care of it? Uh, maybe this was the first thing to be renovated? I don't know. Yeah, let's leave for now. The gymnasium. But there was also, like, a second flight of stairs, right? Oh, I didn't realize that the stairs were made like that. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, hey, Kaito's gone. Uh, can I get in through here yet? Or is it still locked? Oh, for a second there, I thought that was moved. Yeah, okay. Still blocked off. Oh, uh, I right-clicked by accident, I guess. Must have set down my mouse a little too hard. Hmm. Okay. Was the gymnasium this way? Oh, shit. I used the mini-map, but... Mm, I guess not, but that's just another part of the school. Nope, not here. The gymnasium was there in the demo, but gotta remember, this one is a little bit different. Seems like everyone heard the, the announcement and went to the gym. We need to go, too. The gym wasn't this way. Yeah, no. Okay, so maybe it is the other direction. Hmm. Oh, wait. Did I get access to this way? End of hallway. Oh, poop. Wait, did I check everything on the floor above? Okay, the gymnasium's there. That was probably locked. What the hell is this place? Shit. God damn it. <sighs> that door was probably locked anyway. Hmm. Alright, let's see how this works out this time around. Do you agree? All six of uh sixteen of us have gathered. Hmm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. You may not be able... Uh, ...be able to be so easygoing for much longer. Um, in this situation... Ah, uh, fuck, how am I gonna... ...decide between you and Angie? Um, in this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Samugi stopped talking... ...thinking. Yeah. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. What? what? What are you looking at? Kimiko. I can't. Ugh. Female voices. I just cannot do. Um, Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Cause you're a psychic and stuff, right? Magic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Oh god, you're just like hero. 
Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Hey, what sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? I'm talking about it is too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. <laughs> don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, these voices are all so similar. There is no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Thank goodness. <laughs> Phew. That's a relief. Fucking moron. Is your brain full of wheeze or something? I'll whack him out of the... I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll leave it to me. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their asses. Don't you wonder... What? Huh? What that? What's wrong? Hmm. What's wrong? See? Uh, listen. Hear that? That's the Exosouls. Huh? Huh. I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. And they're back. Or is this the first time these guys are seeing him? Playing the demos kind of screwed me over a bit. <laughs> I think this is the first time. Everyone. Behind Gonta! What? <laughs> what the heck are those monsters? Wow. So cool! <laughs> Hell yeah! I really do like Kokichi. <laughs> They're exosols! Highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms! They're, they got lots of hometown pride, too! What are you saying? I can't keep track of these bad stories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last! Hey! <laughs> Run, Himiko! Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <laughs> what the hell? Nobody told me about these! It's okay. Alright. Chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Exosols. So... What do you, you want from any of us? Us. God damn it, why can't I read basic English? You clearly want something. That's what you guns are for, right? The guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something. And if we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention. So... What do you want? And that's that. <laughs> well, uh, huh? Well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. I don't know why I did. My God. I'm. <laughs> I just combined so many voices now. <laughs> my heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm going to say it. You ready? Hell yeah. It's a. Uh... It's a killing game. It's the first time you say anything. <laughs> huh? What? Mono Dam, how dare you just upstage me? Huh? Wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. Oh, he said it again. God damn it, Mono Dam! I'm gonna crush you in this here Exosol! Hmm. Come on! We don't have that time to fight amongst ourselves! Okay! <laughs> yeah! If you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you here uh, with this here Exosol! Hmm. You too, Monotaro? Leave it to me! If this is what it's come to, then I'll crush the four of you with this here Exosol! What are you saying? Hey! Why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. You wanna go, Jabroni? Psh. Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll fall down anytime, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! S seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? 
God damn it, Mew. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? <laughs> Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else. Now, now, now. Here we go. What? Papa Kuma's coming in to fix the situation. My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Father! <laughs> Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! <laughs> Daddy! Uh, where are you, Daddy? Ugh, I hate that I had to say that. Huh? It, d Daddy? Lights! Camera! Action! At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Ooh. Back to the original. Nice. Was there something like this in the second game? I think there was. Ooh, I love the bass riff. Ooh. Ooh. I am the god of this new world. And the headmaster of the ultimate academy. Is the voice actor doing it higher? The one, the only, Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Nice to meet you too! Yay! Father's here! Hell yeah! Another epic entrance for Papa Kuma! His daddy is so cool! Widow cubs! My little cubs! You're all so friggin' cute! The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute! Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. <laughs> are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot! I would never get mad at my cute little cubs, he says as he's angry. <laughs> he is mad! But Daddy is still cool even when he's angry. That's right. <laughs> Pops is from another planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. I see that nothing's changed from the uh, second game. Ah, father just transformed into a super monokuma god, super monokuma. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Was that was that already a thing by the time that this had come out? I thought I thought Dragon Ball Super had uh didn't come out until like twenty. I think 2018. So, how did this? Hold on. I got I got to check that because I know Super Saiyan God unless this was updated after. I don't know. I f Hold on. Let me let me look at this. Release date of Dragon Ball Super. 2015. Damn, I'm an idiot. Damn. I didn't I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up. A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Anyway. I'm not really mad. In fact, I got... Uh, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. Harsh. I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any though. If you can't think of any, it's cause there's none worth remembering. Hmm, what reference is this? Hmm. I can't seem to remember. But father remembers, cause 
he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Because <laughs> Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. Oh. This came out in 2017, huh? Huh. Huh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I don't fucking know how to do that. <laughs> I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. Usually ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof! All thanks to the cute mono cubs. What is this? What's going on? Seems like another teddy bear appeared. No. <laughs> yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Whoa! First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster? Hmm? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI. Like me. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, but... uh, the Exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. They're more or less pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the model cubs. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapons platforms. Piloting weapons platforms. I don't like how it's double S. <laughs> this is certainly turning into quite the story. Actually. Well, well, it may be, but what I'm worried about is, is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Why is this so amusing? Yeah. It's when, it's just when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in. And now I feel awkward. Extreme. I want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game! Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop! Please stop joking! Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Go to never do that? C of course not. Gentlemen not hurt people. And another thing. But if you looked at, around at the academy, then you already know, don't you? This academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exosols, you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. <laughs> so unsure. So, do what you say if we don't. If the So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? Oh, oh. Who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> You're enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Uh, uh, enemies? We're enemies. Hmm, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up a mono dam to release some stress. What? I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy? Instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid. I would want to play a game where no one dies. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely stand it. You're so cute. Why it's so cute? It's cute enough to eat. Cute enough, I want to eat it. Huh? Hey, hey Monophony. You might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Ghoul it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. I've lost my deepness for him. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are we going to... Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? What are you asking? 
We need to get into the uh, info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way. Weapons, huh? What a kind what kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong! Why at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? The killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yes! Here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh, class trials? Okie dokie! Okay, let us explain. Alright, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. <laughs> After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the blackened killer will receive p, -p punishment. <laughs> so, girl, <laughs> just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. After the blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the blacken gets off scot-free, and all the spotless students get punished instead. Hell Nothing yeah. from Monodam. Them's the rules of the class trial. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh! God, having to do that voice must have been so much fun. <laughs> We getting our own Genocide Jack version of Monokuma? Ah, uh, ooh, too much! That explanation revealed way too much! You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man! Gross. <laughs> hey, um... The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the class trial. How should I put this? Kill without being caught, and then survive the trial? Sounds eerily similar, like, ugh, similar to the real world. Unbelievable. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask, just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. Huh? Uh, execution? Oh. is a killing game, so the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Hell yeah! Oh, I wonder what kind of punishments there will be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Yeah. Oh, what? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? Yeah! I'm so hard right now! Oh, uh, boy. Guys, rain! Having to do that for the first time must have been so either weird or interesting. God, man. Whoa, Monophony just puked! Get a rock hard rager. I'm so freaking hard! Yeah. Huh? Puke gives you a boner too? Kids are just adorable! What? What the hell's cute about that? Well now. Alright, I'm over all this boring exposition. Thrills, chills, kills. Let's get this heart pounding killing school semester started already! You have free reign to murder however you like, too! God, you hear that slow drone that they added for the horror element? Ooh! <laughs> So good. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential! Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game! 
There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy! You got me. Killing school semester. That's like a game. <laughs> I'm risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be boring, though. Huh. Hey! How can you de degenerates be so calm? It, it can't be. This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it all fuzzy and hazy? Like, a lie? More like fiction. Like a, t like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality. You can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I... I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I'd never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, wait just a minute. Oh. Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. That's wrong. We'll never participate in the killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um. Kaede, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's no, nice. no. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important in the killing game. To the killing game, excuse me. I'm running over a bit in time, but I don't really care. I want to finish this right as it goes. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and then get their hands dirty. Click. What do you mean by that? Come on. I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality in the death game. Especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining and I just get unbearably that I get unbearably pumped up Cause. plus as the headmaster it's my job to force you to do it <laughs> oh I thought that was gonna be a longer laugh I love the animation we stood in dumbfounded silence Surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma's and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. Hmm. I have a sad reality to tell you about. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. <laughs> ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. We'll watch this animation and then I'll pause it. Even if there is, like, more dialogue after. Yeah. I want to talk about some of the cinematics that I had seen from the demo that I had noticed. Music, or pianist, excuse me. Ultimate robot. Ultimate maid. I love how the eyes in the back, yeah, ultimate whatever the fuck. Ultimate detective. Oh, <laughs> that's the only thing you can do. Ultimate cosplayer. This I had seen in the demo. Ultimate whatever. Aikido master. Supreme leader. Yeah, it's going a bit too fast for me to remember all of them. There was something that I had seen that I wanted to bring up. Hmm. Or maybe mm, yeah, the asteroids hitting Earth, maybe. I 
feel as if like there was one other thing that I wanted to mention, but maybe I just completely ignored it this time. I don't know. God, the music in this game is so good. Thank you, Spike Tunesoft, for making great games. <laughs> and with that, we've finished Ultimate Revival. Yeah. The Ultimate Revival has come to an end. Ultimate Cold Open. New Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles Badge! Nice. Do I want to save? Yes, please. Oh, it does- oh, okay, I was just about to say, it's not gonna give me a slot? Yes, it will. And this is where I will end it for today, knowing that this is where it's going to be. So, thank you, but in the meantime, I have to end it here. Thank you so much for coming out, and have a nice day.